300,000 pounds. The other day I was binge watching Netflix and a character on this very good show, non-protagonist, brought up a theory that really spoke out to me. She said, do you think God made a certain amount of pain? As in, is every wish for world peace made in vain? I know you're lost, please let me explain. So yesterday I was sad and someone else was okay. But today I'm happy and someone else found out that cancer has numbered their days. So the day my sister died in a hospital bed, did all the happiness I lacked flow to the hand of the father giving his graduated son a pat on the back. Let me get into more detail, let me tell you what this entails. If suffering could be measured and someone, maybe God, said I want exactly 800,000 pounds of misery to travel neighborhoods and towns, enough pain to go around, then is that why even in this room it'd be impossible for all of us to be truly happy? So if you're laughing, then someone else has to be crying. So if your son was just born, then a different boy's mother just passed away. And while you smile, he mourns. Because it has to be distributed evenly, even if you haven't contributed to the pain caused by many. You buying that homeless person lunch allowed someone else to s scream at their child for being dumb. So 64 ounces to Carlos because he just missed making honor roll. 157 ounces to Mr. Stewart, whose rebel daughter just left home. 25,000 ounces to the victims of the most current natural disaster and 250 ounces to Candace because today she felt confident enough to not cake on makeup and a boy in the hallway called her a natural disaster. So basically we're counterproductive. Your rabbit's foot succeeded in giving me bad luck and a girl falls in love while another falls out of it. I've never been one to see the glass as half full, but before you go home feeling a little half empty, remember that every experience is interpreted differently. It's true that in this theory your smile is at the cost of someone else's, but the silver lining that does exist is that's just a reality and it means you're alive. So if the cranny of your bosom can't stop collecting tears, it's okay because because a man who suffered a violent accident just walked for the first time in three and a half years. Of course it's still valid if you are sad. All I'm saying is change perspective. It's not that bad because look, your turn will come. Because as the moon fades away between the peaks of the earth rises the sun and that happens every single day. One way or another you'll come out of this okay. It's true, we can't all be happy at the same time, but we couldn't possibly all be sad neither. So smile and put a couple, put a couple ounces on me.